The another cause of rose dieback disease is an infected soil mix. Soil contains many type of insects and microbes, and the soil that is exposed with an infected plant, also have the same disease causing agents. This fungus from your soil, gets into the roots and starts showing the symptoms of dieback disease. An infected mixture can also contribute in the spreading of other problems, especially in roses. So it will be very helpful if you sterilize the soil first and then plant your rose in it. For that you can spread it in the sun for some days, this thing removes all type of pests and fungi. Here you can also use some neem cake powder in it, as it works as a fungicide. If your soil is hard and compact, this can put stress on the rose, which can also lead to dieback disease. Because a healthy plant can sometime resist the fungus, but a stressed plant can't. So use a loose and well-draining soil for your rose plant.